she is eminently qualified. I can't talk about AJ, you know him. But this lady here, she is eminently qualified. She's an educationist. She has been a parliamentarian, cabinet minister. But above all, she is well steeped, not only herself, but her family, steeped in the Christian principles. She is a good person. She is a good mother. This nation, this nation is lucky that we have these two people that are bringing us together. With those few words, Mr. President, can I invite you, please? Yes. And I invite uh, my co-chair here, Dr. Enes Mwansa, Honorable, to also say a few words. For me, I will say, Mr. President, to be elected, it is just a matter of time and days. Now, fellow Zambians and Madam Vice President, to be elected, let me just say one thing. When a lion attacks a village, whether you quarrel among you in the village or not, stop quarreling and deal with the lion or you are in trouble. We have only one Zambia. Chisi Chomwe Mushowo Mwe. That's what I know. <laughs> At this point in time, Mr. President, your job is to show this country that the divisions they talk about are a creature of those who talk about them. We have lived for 57 years together. What can divide us today? You know when a boat is sinking and there's a boat somewhere, <laughs> you start looking for anything to hold on to. And sometimes even a straw in a lake, you think it can protect you, it won't. Once the boat starts sinking, the job of those who know how to swim is to get as many people out of that boat as possible. And that's our job. This alliance is about taking Zambians out of the quagmire we have seen into the hope we want, the Zambia we want. Mr. President, I don't want to take time. The rallies will come and we will articulate these issues more. For now, let me just be the one privilege. Sorry, my co-chair. These are privileges we rarely have. <laughs> I am the first one introducing the president to be come 4th August to the podium. Sir, don't stop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think uh, our duty, my duty, our duty is to first and foremost thank the people of Zambia who have been anxious, extremely anxious. They have read a lot. They have seen a lot of roadblocks trying to keep us away from this day. So many. I don't have to explain. You have been reading. You have been following. But the people of Zambia have remained strong in their belief that this day when we shall file our presidential nominations will come and indeed it has come. Thank you to the people of Zambia. I want to thank our alliance partners. We would like to thank our alliance partners. Obviously when I say we in this context I mean Vice President, running mate, Madam Nalumango, really, for the two of us, express our gratitude to these able men, leading parties in their own right, capable. Each one of them would have been a running mate, but they did seek that right, seek that opportunity for the greater good of the people of Zambia. These are great men. 
and I want to thank you, President, and thank you, Deputy, because as we discussed in our private meetings, that with the talent that you hold, talents, pool of talents that these presidents, their management committees, the people who follow them, combined with obviously us coming from the UPND. This pool is the best from which to draw the leadership managers, one, to reunite this country, two, to reconstruct this country. Reconstruct it from the economic side, which is delirious at the moment, which is delivering nothing for the new zone, so we can be able to also rebuild the social fabric that has been destroyed by those that probably public office thinking that it's a joy ride. Public office is serious business. Politics is not a game. It's serious business. And this team will deliver this country. We will not let you down. I should not say more because we'll say a little bit outside. But simply to say thank you, media. Thank you to the Electoral Commission. I know, and I think we all know the pressures they were under in order to disqualifiers, but it was not possible. But thank you. We must thank these people. They are under pressure from us in the political arena, but we ask them to remain strong, to continue doing that which is right for the people of that. Because you choose the leadership to save the people, not to be saved by the people. You choose the leadership to unite the people, not to divide the people. You choose the leadership to be inclusive, not to exclude citizens. And that's what this leadership, your leadership, collective leadership, will do for the 18 million Zambians. How can I say thank you to all of you, presidents? I think somehow along the way, as we work hard to deliver, we shall find time and space, appropriate time and space, to say thank you. This is only the beginning. Thank you to you all for witnessing this process. It's been a bit lengthy, I'm not sure why, but we enjoy, you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. God bless you all. We love you. Excuse me, because we have no time, I must quickly say how we shall move from here. Um, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't consult you, but the chairman was consulted. We are going to walk up to the gates and go across the road where a podium is ready for us to address our people. In the meantime, I would like um, those of you who are in charge of security to please help the east passage of the presidents onto the greatest road and across there to the podium. Thank you very much.